friends how are you doing today i think you must be doing great and this is for vaish choudhury again warmly welcome to you on this learning platform global studies aspirants and today we're going to talk about the tropical rainforest fine actually friends this is a topic related to geography and in geography we're going to discuss about a tropical rainforest fine and uh, before proceed on the topic i humbly request to all of you that please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so you'll be getting all the essential notifications instantly on your phone thank you so let's move forward and let's get into the topic the here you can see on your computer screen friends the tropical rain forest here let's go through the passage over here the very first line over here these forests are general found uh, close to the equator you know friends these kind of forests generally found uh, very close to the equator and that's why due to extensive moisture conditions fine due to extensive humidity you can call uh, they receive a very heavy rainfalls throughout the year right i hope you must be getting and here just because of these features the trees are so dense fine and that even sunlight cannot touch the ground in daylight fine and just because of this density of the forest and the main trees if you talk about the trees the main trees found here are rosewood ebony and the mahogany fine these are the chief male tree over here and there is no particular dry season like if you talk about the autumn then there is no effect of autumn here all over the year and the trees do not shed their leaves altogether so this is all about the tropical rainforest let's move forward here now you can see the next one here friends the tropical deciduous forest here let's talk about the tropical deciduous forest these are the forest which are uh, called the monsoon forest as well and they are found in a large patch of india and northern australia and in the central america fine and let's talk about the variation actually these fats have a very great seasonal variations fine seasonal diversity you can call they said their leaves in the dry season especially in the autumn season and they are hardwood trees fine they are the hardwood trees are found in the regions and they are very very useful for their commercial and domestic construction activities fine you can use them as in commercial and domestic construction activities fine and if you talk about the main animals like tiger lion elephant langur and monkey these are the main animals are generally found in these forest fine and these are the some common animals who generally live in this kind of forests fine so these are the some basic features about uh, tropical deciduous forests let's move forward just a moment here yeah fine here you can look at the screen friends the temperate evergreen forest uh, let's go through the passage first of all and here the first features over here these are found near in the middle altitude region actually they are found this kind of forest generally found near about altitude region fine in middle altitude region and near the coastal region like if you talk about the specific location here then you can mention like south east usa and south china and south east brazil fine these are the main locations regarding this temperate evergreen forest fine they are very rich in both kind of trees like hard and soft trees fine soft wood trees for instance like you can take some examples over here like uh, pine oak and eucalyptus fine and the dry season affects the trees autumn affects the trees fine in the at the time of autumn 
the generally uh, the trees shed their leaves in the dry seasons and if you talk about the rain then they receive very less rain as compared to the tropical forests fine so i hope you must be getting students let's move forward just a moment here and let's talk about the temperate deciduous forest find these are the forests which generally found in the high high latitude areas like in the north eastern part of usa and china and netherlands chile and in the coastal region of the western europe fine and if you talk about the their leaves uh, particularly uh, they said their leaves in the dry seasons and in the calm uh, if you talk about the common trees the common trees are found in this forest areas like uh, oak ash and beech these are the particular trees are found in these particular regions and the, the main animals are found here like in this kind of forests are the fox deer wolf and if you talk about uh, the birds the the most famous birds uh, you can f see over here like monal and the pleasant are also seen here fine i hope you must be getting fine let's fo move forward just a moment <coughs> and now let's talk about the mediterranean vegetation here these are found these are particularly seen in the south and southwest region fine and the main forests covers the most area of asia europe and africa fine this kind of vegetation are also found in the california usa and in south america and in southwest australia and southwest africa fine and these are the dominant in the hot dry summer means they are having a great in uh, extensive hot dry conditions and mild winter fine that's what the citrus fruits are found here like grapes orange olives and the figs and if you talk about uh, the the uh, another species of plants over here then uh, you will find here then uh, shrubs small bushes and small trees are particularly found here like they are very rich uh, they are very rich areas regions in this kind of uh, vegetation fine let's move forward just a moment <coughs> and now finally uh, on the very next slide over here let's talk about the con conferious forest right these forests are found in the high latitude and it is also known as taiga taiga forest you can uh, call it taiga forest and you must have seen this you must have heard about it right this kind of forest and generally th these are found in canada scandinavia siberia and in alaska fine these uh, these particular regions have taigas fine the tall and evergreen softwood trees are found here mostly the very tall kind of uh, plants you can see over here friends and these are very very useful in making of pulp fine and these pulp which is uh, again you can use it may it uh, must be used in fact in manufacturing the paper and other useful domestic and official things fine and let's move forward <coughs> and the main important trees which are generally found here you can see over here like uh, the cheer pine and cedar fine and if you talk about uh, the main animals then you can easily see you can easily observe like polar bear silver fox and the mink are the common animals are seen here let's move forward just a moment so friends i hope you must have enjoyed this little lecture and again i sincerely <laughs>